Earth's moon is a fascinating ball of rock that can be seen both during the day and at night, depending on what part of the lunar cycle the moon is in. While many planets have moons, Earth's moon is called THE MOON, with a capital M. The moons that orbit other planets have specific names, for example, one of Jupiter's moons is called Europa. The moon can easily be observed with the naked eye, and there is a lot to see on the surface of the moon even without a telescope. The moon is a natural satellite. A satellite is any object that orbits another, larger object. We can see the moon because the surface of the moon reflects the sun's light. The moon itself does not create any light. The surface of the moon is about as reflective as pavement on a road, so when the sun's rays hit the moon, they reflect off the surface in such a way that we can see the moon from here on Earth. When you look at the moon, you're probably used to seeing the same cratered surface. From our perspective on Earth, we only ever see one side of the moon due to the Earth and the moon's synchronous rotation. This is also referred to as tidal locking. As the moon orbits the Earth, it rotates so that the same side of the moon is always facing the Earth. The side of the moon that we cannot see from Earth is called the far side of the moon. Interestingly, this side of the moon has a different texture than the side facing Earth. On the side of the moon that we can see, called the near side, there is a lot to discover. People have categorized the surface of the near side of the moon into two regions, the highland regions and the maria regions. The lunar highland regions are characterized by many crater marks. When you look up at the moon, the highland regions are the lighter colored areas. The darker areas are the maria, and may sometimes be referred to as the lunar seas because the word maria means seas in Latin. Despite what the name maria suggests, these areas, like the rest of the moon, are made up of a powdery, rocky substance called regolith. The lunar maria are far smoother than the highland regions, with fewer craters. The far side of the moon does not have as many maria as the near side. People have named the different land features on the surface of the moon, and if you look closely at the moon, you can identify these geological features. Tycho is one prominent crater that you can see in the southern highlands. Tycho is not particularly large when compared to the other craters on the moon, but what makes it stand out are the long white streaks stretching away from the crater. These streaks are called rays, and they stretch for 1,500 kilometers. The moon is only about 3,470 kilometers in diameter, so the rays streaking away from this crater take up a large portion of the surface of the moon. When looking at the surface of the moon, it is easiest to see craters when they are at the moon's terminator. The terminator is the line between the bright side and the darker side of the moon. If you were to stand on the moon, on the terminator, it would appear that the sun is setting. Along the terminator, shadows are longer, enabling you to better see the characteristics of the surface of the moon. When the moon is full, everything is lit up, so you can really only see the maria clearly. You may have noticed that the moon sometimes looks particularly large shortly after it has risen. The moon is not actually larger, and this is simply an optical illusion called the moon illusion. People tend to perceive the sky as a slightly flattened body, with the horizon appearing further away than the top of the sky, or the zenith. Therefore, when the moon is near the horizon, it feels like the moon must be further away, particularly with the distant landmarks surrounding it. However, our brain is actually just tricking us into thinking it looks larger, when it is really the same size. To enjoy the splendor of the moon, you do not need a lot of equipment, and your eyes will allow you to observe many interesting features on the surface of the moon. However, if you want to observe the moon closer, a pair of binoculars will work well. So next time you catch sight of the moon in the sky, see if you spot something fascinating on its surface that you have never noticed before. Bingo up.